How much do you really know about them? Are they friends or comrades? Don't be too sure. <laughs> Holy shit, welcome back friends. I said I was gonna pop a squat on the rock, but uh yeah, it seems I slipped away into unconsciousness. Just need a little nappy nap. Recollect my my strength and such. And now we're good to go. I got uh some what is that? Thrust control modules to find? Something like that. It sounds like it's talking gibberish to me. Said he, I gotta find a, a junk dealer, something like that. So I thought maybe I'd head over to the Dino Bite. That's uh, about the only junk that I've seen for sale recently. You know, these fucking dudes trying to sell me all kinds of plastic dinosaurs and crap. I did uh, have a look at his wares earlier, but yeah, I don't remember seeing nothing like that. And there ain't no caravans out this way. No, sir. They don't know the ghouls is cleared out over here. That's all right. Ah, I'll just enjoy the, the crisp, crisp night air, you know? There was a time when uh, I used to enjoy the nightlife. I used to enjoy boogieing, you know? And that's the, the hot time for all the casinos, really, but especially the Mora. You don't exactly see more people in the lobby just because, you know, they're catching a room, something like that. But it, it ain't all bad, you know. There's the the dino there. They also got something out that way. I don't know what the hell that is. I should probably check it out as well. If dino bite doesn't have nothing for me, then uh, we could head over that way. That'll be just fine. I could also uh, see if somebody besides that Boone fella is up in the dinosaur. Because uh, Boone was an asshole, but maybe the night shift guy's a little more amicable. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I wouldn't count on it though. People out here, they just, uh, they out for themselves, you know? I can't blame them, I suppose. It's alright. We're all just trying to make it, you know? Hey, here we are. Nice to see you again, Dinky. Dinky Dino. Yeah. Let's see what's going on in here. My good friend. Hello there. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Well, I was wondering if you've uh, had some thrust control modules. I know you got some rocket souvenirs and things like this. Sure thing. Have a look. Yeah. Well, it's a bunch of crap. A bunch of crap in here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, is this my stuff? I think this is my stuff. I'm the one with the crap. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> We got our bags mix, mixed up there. Sorry about that. Oh, look at all this. Laser pistol combat sights. Useful iron sights. My goodness. We got some of them uh, thrust control modules somewhere? Hmm. Carbide teeth. That gun. My goodness. That is a nice looking gun. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you have what I'm looking for. Ah, that's a shame. Look at this gun here. My goodness. I need to uh, save my caps up, something like that. That is a pretty penny, isn't it? Yeah, I'll give you some cigarettes. Cotton the cigarettes. Yeah, that'll do. Enjoy those. Ah, see you later. Come back soon now. Indeed I shall. One of these days. Oh my god. Oh, we'll head over there. Doesn't seem like he has any junk for me. I didn't know if uh, he was talking junk, like, you know, fill up your veins with something sweet, you know what I'm saying? Lots of people out here, they're using junk. I talked briefly about Jet a little earlier. I'm not sure if y'all recall that. Hey, what are these fellas? What you doing out here, guys? Having a good old time, huh? What can I do for you? Ah, uh, you're the leader, are you? Can you do anything for me? I'm, I'm not too sure. I'll take a, a look at some medical supplies if you have some. Yeah, and I need sterile medical supplies. But let's see what I have with me. Not sterile. Wonderful. Exactly what I'm looking for. That's what I like. The... The, the chance of AIDS. 
you know? I used to roll a dice every night over at Gamora. Yeah, I, you tell people to be safe, but it's hard to do it in these days and times, I'll tell you that. How about a little bit of pre-war money? You into that? Alright then. Hey, I found this sensor module. Ten stim packs. Hmm. Ah, these are pricey, ain't they? Well, just give me a couple of them. That'll do. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Surely. Uh, I've also got this queasy feeling. I think I'm a bit irradiated. Could you help me out with that? Are you sure? You won't be able to read in the dark as well. Hey, that's a good one. Here's a hundred caps. Just fucking do it. Okay. And remember, if this doesn't help, try taking a bath in tomato juice. What are you on about? You a fucking doctor. I guess anybody's a doctor these days. You just fucking put on a funny hat and you're like, Hey! Hey, everybody! Pay me money! Yeah, but my radiation does seem, seem to be gone, so... I gotta give her a little bit of credit. If my radiation wasn't gone and I handed over a hundred caps, I gave her the old one, too. She got two bodyguards, but, uh... They do have a little... A little bit of dynamite. Maybe a grenade. Take care of that lickety split. Speaking of lickety split, you wanna get together later? See what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I don't do that anymore. Not these days. I'm taking my life in a different direction, you see? Hey, what's this? We got a flag posted up out here. Well, well. If it isn't the NCR. Old friends of mine, old buddy, old pals. I doubt they have any sensor modules, but I figure it's worth a check. Hello there. How are you? This is a restricted area. State your business. Hey, how's it going? Uh, uh, I saw this place in the distance and I was, uh, wanted to have a little look around. Or you're a Legion spy trying to infiltrate our perimeter. Give me one good reason I should let you through. Well, I uh, heard my brother was stationed over here, my father, and I, I just wanted to know if he's okay or not. I wish I could tell you, but we've had so many replacements lately I couldn't be sure. Go in and look around if you want. Try not to make any trouble. I shall try. So, uh, shouldn't there be like some more people here? It looks like you got a skeleton crew defending this plant. The Legion's so close, don't you want to have a, a group defend the moth? Or are they just the, site, the sort that don't take advantage of electricity? They prefer a good campfire, right? At least from what I see. There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Huh. You sound really confident in the uh, ability of your troops there. So, why was the Brotherhood of Steel over here? Just trying to hold down the technology, something like that? I do know a little bit about them fellas. Not too fond of them, if you want me to be honest. Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? They held out as long as they could, lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. <sighs> Jerk-offs. Interesting. Well, thanks for that information. I, I go, I'll go inside and look for my dad. Later. Alright. Really well. Seems like we found at least some modicum of success, no? We're supposed to be relieved any day. That's what they keep telling us. I don't think anyone's coming. Nobody's coming. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Let's have a look in here. A power plant of some sort. Was held by the Brotherhood of Steel? Taken by the NCR. But they had to outnumber the Brotherhood of Steel 21, 20 to 1. That's hilarious. Ah. For as much as they talked about how good they are at fighting, I'm not sure. Listen, this chain link fence perimeter is worthless. We might as well be defending a cage from the inside. Chain link fence? I didn't see no chain link fence. You been outside in the wild, girly? 
What the fuck is she on about? Hey, sorry, doggy. Hey, what are you doing? Pretty sure HQ's forgotten all about us. Yeah, this morale is shit around here. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Hmm. I don't hear anything in here. Seems like just up the way they got something running. My old Nick ain't too handy with stuff like this, but uh, we we'll enjoy poking around. Book locker, burned books. Why are you gonna keep a burned book? A little bit of beer. Well, I take that all day long. I take that. What's this twisting around? I'm gonna be lost as hell before this is over. All right now, which door? Button, button, who's got the button? All right, well, we're somewhere else now. We should be up on the front lines, not out here in Bumblefuck. This place is a junkyard. Yeah, it looks pretty shit, doesn't it? Well, well, ain't even uh, too much of interest in here, aside from some NCR troops. And I wasn't really lying to that lady. My dad might be in here somewhere. Oh fuck if I know what he looks like these days. Hmm. So all this... Ah. Stim packs? Yes sir. I will take it. Reflector control password. That sounds important. Yeah, alright. Give me all of this. Pack of cigarettes. Don't mind if I do. Couple bottle caps, they got some fucking glue. Let's have a look at this terminal. Archimedes testing. The fuck is that? Technicians will be running a test of Archimedes and its connectivity with our plant security system. Under no circumstances should any employee be outdoors on the plant grounds until the alarm clacks has ceased and an all clear is given. We have death and dismemberment waivers for all employees on file and are not responsible for any accidents that should occur during this procedure. Protective eyewear is mandatory for all technicians observing from the tower deck. Lovely. And what were the results? Testing Valkamedes was a success, though not an unqualified one. Several minor systems were overloaded despite all precautions being taken, and the two and a half minutes of downtime following the test is something that we can work on improving. More importantly, we received reports from nearby facilities that they experienced system frying power fluctuations at the time of the test. Notably, the Black Mountain Communications Array and the military bunkers at Hidden Valley. We're going to make it a priority next time to prevent such collateral damage. Yeah, they got fucking bunkers all over the place, don't they? Upcoming visit, Brigadier General Scott Lowe of the U.S. Army will be visiting the facility starting next Monday, staying on site indefinitely. When Archimedes goes live, we'll be the only person here allowed to authorize its use for anything other than a test. Civilian employees are not required to salute, but is it is expected of everyone that you observe thorough grooming and hygiene res regimens and dress neatly while the general is with us. The general expects the best from all of his men, and Poseidon men should be no different in the presence of such a fine and decorated soldier. Oh, I'd like to meet this general. I would. Probably stop Spike Amora once in a while too, huh? Can I tell him? Poseidon Energy Publication for New Employees. As a member of the Poseidon family, it will be natural for you to become enthusiastic about the incredible endeavors you will be undertaking with us and want to tell others. But wait a second there, my good man. Let's take a minute to consider what could happen if the company information fell into the wrong hands and whose hands those might be. Can I tell my wife? Well, let's say you do. You tell her not to tell anyone. Your bond is sacred. But a woman's idle tongue is the devil's plaything. No sooner do you leave for work the next day that she's on the phone telling her best friend Candy. And Candy tells Gertie, Gertie tells Maxine, Maxine tells Lulu. And while Lulu's telling Doris, a Chinese agent posing as an American operator listens in. And the next thing she's on the line with the Forbidden City, singing like a treasonous canary. The following day, you and your wife are bound in shackles in China, sitting at the control of our entire arsenal. Can I tell my children? What father wouldn't want his kids to look up to him? Don't be that father. One day at school, Ivan Bullykov will get more than lunch money out of your kids. They'll have national secrets. And while they're parading them through the Red Square as a national hero, your children will be working in forced labor camps. Right next to you and your beautiful young wife. 
who's now wrinkled and homely since the communists have banned makeup because it expresses individuality. Can I tell my drinking buddies? Surely. If there's somewhere safe a man can place his trust, it is with his other male friends. But how much do you really know about them? Are they friends or comrades? Don't be too sure. <laughs> Even the most transparent window can hide secrets when it's lined with iron curtains. Always remember, you're a member of two families now, and you have obligations to both. But your obligation to the Poseidon family is greater. Because while your children may misbehave, and your friends may change, and your wife may nag and cheat on you, Poseidon energy will always be paying for and protecting your way of life. Don't tell anybody about anything about the projects of Poseidon energy. When pressed, tell them that your job is repetitive and not worth discussing. But the company's nurturing and gives good benefits and is always looking for new talent. That was a rather enjoyable read, wasn't it? <sighs> Unfortunately, I don't see any, uh, any vendors at all around here. Why? Who broke that cabinet? Well, I don't think anybody's gonna notice in a place like this. Huh? Another pack of cigarettes here. I take it. Couple five, five, six rounds. Here's an exit. It's not open, but we can fix that. Straight away. Alright. Well, that's Helios 1. Didn't see much of interest there. I guess we uh, head on to the next landmark. Good lord. Something about this place. You're sitting here wandering off into the fucking desert. Ah, I think the death claws were over there somewhere. Big lanky fuckers, giant claws, like knives. They just pick pick you up, run one hand through you. <laughs> there ain't no, nothing that can fix that. That doctor might have some skill with radiation, but how are you gonna fix evis evisceration? It's a whole different story, isn't it? My goodness. There's Novak again. Hey, there's a trader. Maybe he got something for me. Certainly got a nice hat. Old Nick would like that hat. Cowboy hat, not the... Not the fedora there. I already got one of them. Hey there. Hey there. Need anything? Yeah, I was looking for, uh... Something sure. interesting. Here's what I've got. It's a control module, thrust control module, something like that. Do you happen to have anything like that? I don't even really know what it looks like, so I'm just going to dig through your stuff here and uh, hope that I'll find something relatively near to what I'm looking for, huh? Hmm. Shotguns, tire irons, ah, nothing I'm looking for. Well, are you in the, in the market for anything? I could certainly hook you up with some some good stuff, if that's what you're looking for. I got a uh, flavor fuel here, energy cells. No? Yeah? Hmm. You don't look so excited about these things. You should be. It's good stuff. Can I have some of this flavor fuel? Yeah, energy cells. You can have all those. I ain't gonna be using it anytime soon. The armor, hmm. I suppose it's good for now, isn't it? Just need to make a little come up. I'm trying to make enough cash. Yeah, just trying to, to get home, you know what I mean? Aren't we all, right? Hmm. Sensor module. Yeah, you think this would be what, what these fellas were looking for, but it ain't. I just don't know what to do. I suppose we'll carry on. Hmm. Ah, I they have a scrapyard marked on my, my pit boy here. Who did that? Did old Chrissy do that for me? Hey, hey. Like that? yeah, that's a mole rat. Go ahead, take care of him. Nick's gonna help you out with this one. Oh my! Shop shooters, let me tell you. Well, if Chris marked this down, he should have uh, told me or something. 
my goodness. What a surprise. On the plus side, at least I was uh, wandering in relatively the correct direction. Now I'm not able to get up here. Continue down the canyon. How many times can we get caught in a fucking canyon? Sick of time in the canyon in just a, a couple of days. Hey. What's this little place? I think they got uh, a vendor or something like that hanging around? Whose dog is this? Hey dog. Basura. Yeah, the Americans know all about basura. That means trash for the uh, uninitiated. Yeah, see? Told you, old Nick knows some things. He ain't as dumb as I look. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, is that another dog? I think you're a different dog. Different dog than the one I saw outside. Hello? Anybody in here? I got a workbench here. Nice, nice. Should I just uh, have a look in this first aid? No, I'm gonna need this. I'll tell you true. Gas tank? What the hell am I gonna do with that? Uh, excuse me. Pardon me. Hello? Uh-huh. There you are. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Yeah, prospected my way through there just a little bit ago. Old Lady Gibson, so they tell ya, you know? You're lucky to have reached old age. Not many people do, these days. Um, I was looking for something called a thrust control sensor. Uh, got sent over here from a guy that used to work at Repcon. Do you have any laying around somewheres? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Oh, doggy. Well, well. Let me, uh... Let me make you a little proposal, hmm? I work at Grimora. I've, I've picked up some skills over there. And I could show you some of these skills if perhaps... Maybe we could work out some sort of trade... My body for your thrust control modules. What do you say? I know I'm not young and pretty anymore, but I appreciate the thought all the same. Here, take the parts, you flatterer. Aww. Thanks, old lady Gibson. Save me 500 caps and a bit of embarrassment. I said, I said that I was out of the business and that I ain't gonna do that no more, but needs must, you know what I mean? She uh, fell for a hook, line, and sinker. So I appreciate that. Detected. Don't look at me, dog. Go out in the yard. Alright, here we go. Nothing in here? That's a shame. Found the fridge. Oh, they see me poking through. Nothing worth taking in here, anyways. Well, thank you, old lady Gibson. Most kind of you. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.